Yeah, I think I was just saying after the last few weeks, um, obviously Hawk and, and Blitz, two incredible players for the club. Um, yeah, it's, it's, it's pretty cool to be able to play a couple of weeks after them uh, and tick mine off. Um, it's taken me a while, uh, 16 odd years, a few injuries along the way. But um, yeah, obviously something myself and my family are pretty proud of. Um, I think there are times when you're sort of constantly sitting on the side, um, you know, trips to Germany to fix hammies and things like that. You know, it's, it's so early days, I, I sort of battled with a few injuries I couldn't really get over. And then I think the move to Geelong was, um, yeah, it was a real blessing. Uh, it um, yeah, reinvigorated sort of my, my footy and, and, uh, and, and from that point, I, I probably didn't doubt as much that I'd, I'd get there, but um, certainly along the journey there, there was times. No, no, never, never got, never got to that point. Um, I think you know the way contracts worked. I was always sort of, I always had time, which was, uh, you know, I was obviously very lucky in that respect. Um, but yeah, I, I, yeah, there, there are parts, there are times where you're just spending time on the sidelines, going, oh, am I just going to keep tearing hammies? Am I going to keep, you know, pulling this and that? And uh, and then you know, like I said, the blessing. In disguise was, I guess, you know, coming here and getting getting strong, working with some some really good uh, S and T coaches, and um, getting my body right. So, what's the what's the trick to, to all the, you know, the footy players out there suffering soft tissue injuries? Like, what's the what's the trick? I don't think there's a magic trick, is there? There's no uh, there's no magic potion. Um, it's just, uh, I think, a combination of everything. Uh, I was lucky to have really good people around me, and uh, Chris Dennis. I, I worked a lot with Chris Dennis here. Um, as, a, as a strength coach when I got to the club uh, and he, he just got my, my body in shape and, and, and got me really strong in areas that I was weak um, and, uh, and I think that's, uh, that's held me in good stead. Uh, oh, I think it was early days. I played a, played a few um, games early uh, at St Kilda when uh, Nick Rewald at the time I don't know if you remember, he ripped his hammy off the, uh, ripped his tendon uh, in his hammy and, and spent a fair bit of time on the side and, and that sort of opened the door a little bit to, to play some games. Um, and, and that was a, yeah, that was an eye opener. I, you know, I was, I was pretty raw, pretty skinny kid um, and, and playing in a pretty decent side at the time. You know, 09, 10, 11, they were a really competitive side. So uh, that was a great experience. Um, and I think there were, there were times there where I thought, okay, I, I can do this. Yeah. Did it take you a while to find your footy identity though? Like, the player you were then, obviously, you were the sort of people that mm. had the one there. Yeah. 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 So, to speak. Yeah. It's the player you are now. Your journey's been sort of quite wide range. Yeah, yeah, certainly has. Um, yeah, like you said, started off sort of trying to fit into that mould, I guess. Um, and, you know, yeah, I. I I wasn't going to fit into that mould. Um, he's a very unique player, um, Rue, and, and obviously it was great to learn off of someone like that and, and the other players at that club, Lenny Hayes at the time as well. Guys like that um, were, were great to have around and, and, and learn from. Um, but I think, yeah, the, the move to the ruck and, and playing that sort of versatile ruckman that can, that can get forward, that, that can play a bit back, um, that sort of uh, suited me well. I hope so. Yeah, I, um, I'd love to sort of finish up one day and look back and, and think I played uh, a little role in, in developing some young guys. And I guess um, like Toby Conway is probably one that um, probably queuing me there onto onto that one. But he's uh, he's someone I've worked really closely with, especially the last uh, probably 18 months, couple of years. Now that he's come off the back of a few of the injuries that he had uh, through his junior, so um, yeah, certainly worked really closely with him and. Um, you know, a bunch of other young guys. Uh, Mitch Edwards is coming on as well, and, and he's he's spending a bit of time in the rehab group at the moment. But looking forward to working with him as well. When you started out in that first set, I hope so. Is there a bit of a, a legacy there? Like um, oh, I think every player would love to have some sort of uh, impact on that next generation. Whether it's um, whether it's you mark your leave sort of within the walls of the footy club and, and sort of the standards that you drive at the footy club, or or whether it is along the lines of, um, of helping those kids and, and those younger players develop uh, on the field. How do, you, how do you see that role with Toby? Obviously, he was really promising with the other guy, and sort of you step aside and he jumped in. So, 
so much talent, so much skill raw. How does that sort of manage, especially um, you know, for the rest of the 2024, and giving him the opportunity sort of that he deserves when he gets it, and obviously your own sort of place in, in the team. How, how, how does that sort of manage? Uh, <laughs> not my job to manage that one, which is probably good, but um, no, we're, we're just trying to be as available as we can be, uh, and that's that's our job sort of taken care of. We, we'll get ourselves fit and ready to play, and um, and there'll be times where, where he'll play, there'll be times where I'll play, there'll be times where we're possibly we, we both play together. Um, so we're, our job is, is to be as ready as we can be, uh, and, and we know that a healthy list is a good list. So um, if we can, you know, go through the year and, and manage our list and be available um, as a list at the end of the year and, and, and be sort of pushing into finals healthy, that's, that's good for us. Yeah, there's obviously going to be pretty competitive for that ruck spot, especially once he gets his, his, uh, his body fit and consistency. Yeah. So it's, it's going to be, it's, it, you know, not that you haven't had that competition in the past, but it's going to be, uh, uh, you know, going head to head each week sort of with him. And, yeah, we've yeah, been so doing it all, so we've been doing it all pre-season, mate. Yeah. So. How's that, how's that been? Obviously, it's good. Well, it's good. It makes if if you're not competing against someone, you're not really getting better, are you? So, to have someone to go up against the training that that, that wants it and wants to get better as well is um, it's been great for our list. Yeah, the week after the, the one for you over the weekend, how did you see your performance against Kimberley? Um, yeah, it was, oh, it was yeah, it was alright. Um, we won, which was good. <laughs> um, should have kicked that goal, and that would have made it a bit easier, <laughs> I suppose, for us. But. Uh, yeah, it was um, it was right. It was, it was good just to get out and compete. Uh, he's a great player. His follow-up works, you know, obviously up there with the with the best in the comp. So uh, to be able to get out there and, and, and compete well against him and against a really good midfield, uh, yeah, we're, we're we're sort of happy coming off the weekend. But we know there's lots of work to do. Looking back on your trade move, was it always too long? Were there other schools there? Um, there was over a couple of years. Uh, sort of, I guess. Um, back end conversations, but not really. I, I, I sort of did kind of come out of nowhere, um, and then yeah, the, the move when it did become an option, and uh, and I, I thought it through with the family. Uh, it made sense. Um, <laughs> a phone call with Scotty. That's <laughs> that's as good a pitch as you need, isn't it? <laughs> and uh, obviously, contract until the end of the year. How do you sort of see those discussions over the course of this year? There's a lot, of, a lot of you guys, you know, in the same boat. Yeah. Um, you know, all, sort of every year we talk about the things yeah. going on and it's up to you. Yeah. A lot of you guys, how do you, sort of, how do you sit in that discussion? Uh, I'm not sure. List management probably take care of that that question. But uh, oh, we just want to play good footy and uh, and then see how our bodies are at the uh, midway point of the year and, and um, see see if the shoe fits. You know, I think that's that'll be the thing in the going into the be second half of the year is. But oh, how are we going? Are we, you know, we uh, is the team looking like uh, wanting us to go on and things like that? Um, all those conversations will start happening. It's inevitable, isn't it? Eventually, <laughs> I'm getting I'm getting older, and he's uh, he's uh, he's right in his prime, big tugs. But um, yeah, like that'll happen one day, whether it's. Um, yeah, whether it's now or, or uh, into the future, but um, yeah, eventually that, that, that's going to be the conversation for sure. Definitely, mate. Yeah, definitely. Um, yeah, obviously, very settled off field, and, and feel like feel like this is definitely home. Um, I've, uh, yeah, I felt very settled here, that's for sure. Uh, three kids and a beautiful wife at home, and um, yeah, we managed to, to get our farm a number of years ago and building a house out there. So, um, yeah, the, the community that we're surrounded by here, we're, we're incredibly lucky. With, just with the uh, change in the ruck, race, like, is there a bit of angst in the club land just about the, the like, sort changing of changing rules? Yeah, it's like, yeah. Is, it, is it sort of taking the, like, the, the big, sort of tall, lumbering ruck man out of the game? It's keeping them in the game. It's keeping them in the game. Mm. So, yeah. is there a bit of angst that club land over those those rules and how they're being adjudicated? Or? I don't think uh, I don't think there's angst. Uh, I, I think our job is to is to adapt to the the changes as quickly as possible. And and we spend pre seasons and, and off seasons with the rule changes, you know, given to us. And so this is what we're looking at for 2024, 2025, and. Uh, and we need to train accordingly. It's like, okay, well, that's the new change. There's no point arguing it. Let's get to work and figure out 
uh, how to best play um, with that set of rules. So you think they're, they're, they're good for that sort of role of the, the ruckman in the game? Yeah, the big, <clears throat> the big tall ruckman. I, being able to cross the line and, and sort of check your opponent and come back to the ball, that certainly suits the, the big guys.